Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to Sports Talk 920. I am your host, Michael Goodman. And, uh, man, oh, man, got a lot going on in the world of sports right now. Of course, we do have the World Series right now. As it stands, just a few minutes ago, the Chicago Cubs did defeat the the um, Cleveland Indians in the series at 3-2. to two. We have uh, the NASCAR chase for Sprint Cup. Jimmy Johnson punches his ticket into Homestead. And we did have the um, football games that went on today. We can talk a little bit about that as well. Um, first off, I did want to talk a little bit about the World Series here today. Um, yeah, I, I don't think the series started since, since last time we talked last Sunday, so... Um, And, uh, ooh, I just watched the hit on Alex Smith today when they defeated the Colts. But, um, anyway, um, you know, going into the series, you know, going into tonight, the, the Cleveland Indians did have a 3-1 to one game lead, could have potentially ended the World Series tonight, just fell short, losing 3-2. to two. And, again, that currently reflects the series that they lead at three games to two. And, uh, um, it, it's, it's just kind of f- funny, too, that, that no one, I think, really gave the Cleveland Indians any chance of winning it. I think a lot of them thought that the uh, Cleveland, or the, sorry, the Chicago Cubs win the series um, in, in five, maybe six games. And uh, really, the, the Indians were one that could have almost done that themselves. I, not, not many people gave them a chance, but I mean, you know, somewhat understandable at one swing of the bat, too, because um, this Cubs roster is so stacked. Um, you look top to bottom, pitching, hitting, and, and even even in that series they won against the, um, the Los Angeles Dodgers, maybe not hitting the best in the postseason, but, um, you know, they, they can do, they do what they can, you know, when they can, I guess. Um, they've had some some pretty strong showing, some pretty pretty strong uh, outings in, in a few of the games, and and, and it's 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 kind of how it usually went for the the Chicago Cubs so far this this postseason. You know they'll they'll lose a game one to nothing, and then they'll go on and and win the next game. You know eight to three, something like that. I mean, although tonight being a, a relatively low scoring game, um, something you know hell that that I think maybe the Chicago Cubs need and. And um, I still think they, you know, if this was reversed, you know, if the Indians were down 3-1 to one and even winning Game 5, I still would say that it's it's unlikely that the Indians, you know, albeit going home, would be able to win the um, World Series. But I, I think the Cubs can still do it. Um, you know, I guess my as far as my opinion on the whole matter... Um, I did. I did bet my wife last night, maybe a little bit drunk, um, at a Halloween party. But um, I did tell her I think the Cubs can still come back and win it, and that was before they lost, you know, last night's game. So um, I'm I'm gonna stick with my drunken self and say they got they got a shot. Um, you, you know, again now that you know they can't lose from here on out. They got to win uh, a few games in a row to. To uh, to really um, have a chance, or well, obviously to win the World Series, they can't lose here from here on out. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I was kind of hoping that the if the Indians were going to win it, they were going to win it tonight and in Chicago, kind of rub it in in the Chicago Cubs fans' faces a little bit because I think well maybe not not all the fans. I I mean I feel for all the diehard fans that that actually rooted for them their whole lives, didn't just kind of get caught up into the, the whole lovable losers type of thing that actually, you know, cheer for them year in, year out, not just when they're around. Um, I've seen a lot of that popping up. Um, you know, this is for the ones that, that have been there, you know, over the past few years when, when the Cubs were struggling and even towards the bottom of the, the NL Central. But it's not that's not directed towards you, but... I think those people that, you know, I think we kind of seen the same thing back when Boston won their World Series, uh, uh, you know, back in 2000, 2004. Um, 
to reverse the curse. Um, I think you're seeing maybe a lot of the, the fair weather fans show up and maybe even even just so they can go to work and say, wow, man, oh, man, we, we, um, we uh, uh, you know, lost another one just so they can kind of complain for a little bit and, and move on. But um, another thing, too, Joe Madden tonight made a pretty risky, well, hold on. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Um, pretty uh, risky proposition here tonight, making – uh, Chapman pitched two and two thirds innings um, to preserve that lead, and and while yeah, it's um, you know it did work tonight, and yeah, they do have a day off. Um, still, could be something maybe you know just just wearing them out just a little bit more than maybe you have to, um, but we'll see how that works in the end. You know, it, it's it's some of those moves like that that um, he'll be a genius if it works one hundred and fifty percent. Or he'll be a dumbass because um, it didn't ferment to the way he probably wanted it to be. But uh, we'll see what happens. Um, the last two games of the series will be Tuesday and Wednesday, and we'll determine who the winner is of the World Series in those two games. Um, and NASCAR, um, one of the new rules, too, that, that came out this week, and, and I'm really uh, a big fan of, um, is is now that they they will not not allow um, any I, I better get this right because it was kind of the the wording was I think you're limited to five or five races if you if you have five or more experience five years or more of, of experience otherwise I think you can race in about as many races as you want so I, it's limiting the the um, amount of races that these guys these these guys like Kyle Bush Brad Kozlowski um, let's see I'm trying to find it um you know some of these guys from just continuing to dominate the Xfinity series, and and the Truck series too. And, and you know a lot of people put that blame solely on Kyle Busch and making these races boring. And, and I think lately, um, you know when guys like Kevin Harvick or or Brad Keselowski do win a race or Logano, you think, well, man, at least it's not Kyle Busch. But it really it's still the problem. It's something that I guess it was a little bit more different, but it's something that they. Um, that they, they need to fix. And here's here it is. Starting next season, Premier Series drivers with more than five years of full-time experience will be eligible to compete in a maximum of 10, ex, 10 races in the Xfinity Series and seven in the Camping World Truck Series. So, And this is what I think you can do, too, and especially, say, like <clears throat> um, organizations like Joe Gibbs and... and, um, and you know, even Penske, and Penske, I think, almost kind of went to something similar to this now, too. They split that 22 car up between Blaney, Logano, and um, Brad Keselowski, so, you know, you're still getting enough, almost enough guys in there, too, and then maybe you can add a few races to put put a young guy in there, too, you know, with those three drivers at Penske, you can maybe add those, those other, um, I think, four, three or four events, you can add a young driver to, to get some experience in, in that series as well. And then maybe progressively cut, maybe cut back on some of those, you know, some of the cup drivers and get him more time progressively. And I, I think that's where it still helps. And, and I think to, to totally bash or totally prevent, um, cup drivers in these lower tier series, because I, I, I think it's wrong because it does bring in fans, you know, ever since I remember watching the old Bush series back in, in the mid, you know, early to mid nineties. Um, I always loved to see when Dale Earnhardt senior was out there. And, and I think if you look back then too, um, I think one of them was a, a lot of it was that, that, that some of these guys worked on their own cars. I think Dale Earnhardt ran, um, for himself, DEI, um, Ken Schrader, I believe, ran his own team too back in the '90s, and so you know, and basic, and basically, they were at the time Hendrick and Richard Childress um, equipment, 
but um, you know, I think it brought a little bit more attention to the series, and and you did have probably more seasoned regulars than you do now, or more uh, more of a chance to see him win on a week to week basis. But but don't get me wrong, when when Dale Earnhardt Senior was out there, I would say uh, you know a good chunk of the races he entered, he would win. So um, and that was and that's still good to see too. You know, for Kyle Busch. You know, you're limiting to him to 10 races next year. Probably has a chance to win all 10 of them. Um, so, so not much is going to change on a lot of the tracks. But, um, you know, because the other side of this, too, because I heard uh, some teams say that, that their sponsorship money dollars will not be in there for the lower, lower tier series if they can't run these races. But... Um, I still think now that you can maybe package package some deals saying, you know, we'll have, um, you know, that 18 car. You know, you do have, you do have, well, Eric Jones, he is going to be moving up into the uh, uh, Cup Series next year, so that 20 car will be open. Maybe that opens up, a, um, you know, maybe more, more races for Matt Tift. You know, William Byron, of course, he's leaving for Hendrick, but, um, and you can parlay those packages. Even, like, William Byron going to... Uh, um, Hendrick, and I think he is running a full-time, full-time uh, Xfinity series next year. But um, I, I think you can package these deals anyway together. Or say if uh, um, Matt Tiff doesn't have enough sponsor sponsorship to run a complete schedule for the Xfinity series, you can bring in um, Kyle Busch and uh, you know some of those other guys, Hal Kenseth and and. Uh, and uh, Denny Hamlin, Edwards, whoever, to fill in for those races that maybe Matt, Matt Taft can't get a sponsorship and then maybe he can get some of those um, other races filled in, you know, later on in the season or, or whatever have you. I mean, you, you know, you think about it, but – and this, I think, phenomenon where uh, the the cup drivers started really invading it um, really started back when Kevin Harvick did it back in 2001, where you know he went into that season, you know, uh, going for the uh, the Bush Series championship. But uh, of course, uh, that all kind of changed when Dale Earnhardt passed away, um, and kind of maybe bumped up his progress a little bit more. Because if you remember, he was supposed to run in five races that year in the Cup Series in the number 30 American Online car, which was uh, eventually. Um, you know, taken over by Jeff Green, um, who did win the, the Bush Series Championship the year before. Um, so a- ever since that happened, I think that's when we started seeing a, a, lot, of the, a lot of the Cup guys start to do it more. And, and then back, and then it, I think it really kind of fermented. When, you know, then you've seen um, Harvick did win the, the Bush Series Championship and Rookie of the Year in the same year. That was in 2001. And I think kind of going into 2004, it happened again, too, when uh, Carl Edwards replaced Jeff Burton in the middle of the year, and they kind of kept him in the uh, Bush Series for much of that time for the next few years. And I think he was one of the other ones, too, that that won championships in the Xfinity Series or the Bush Series at the time while competing full-time in Cup. And and, and obviously, you know, they, they've, they've progressively went down to this where you don't get points, you don't do, you know you have to kind of designate yourself in each series. And, and I, I don't think that will change now that you're limiting the number of, of races the guys would be into. Cause I, you know, that was that first step to help try to deter people from winning it. But basically, you know, Kyle Busch is, you, you know, he's, <laughs> you do take the, take away the championship trophy at the end of the year, but you don't take those trophies away from, from the races he wins. And, um, and this is probably probably one of the only ways to do it, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Because I, I think, I think you know, if if some of these teams, these Cup teams, especially the bigger teams, again like Gibbs and you know Junior Motorsports and, and stuff, stuff like that, they have Cup guys that can can easily quickly and fill in, you, you know, through it. basically they have the means to fill in the whole season if for Cup drivers if they really wanted to, but. You know, it's going to be interesting to see. Are we going to see some races, at, you know, when they're, you know, say if it's at Dover, um, you know, and they're both, the Bull Series are there that weekend. Are we only going to see maybe uh, 